Hey everyone, welcome back. Hey guys. So, on today's agenda, we are just starting to prep this uh, hatch combing to receive some fiberglass. So, we started this uh, hatch combing way back. Um, we pretty much got it water, uh, watertight on the deck side. This was before we had our uh, whole shelter on. So uh, it was just a mad dash to get it seal up, sealed up so that water didn't go into the deck and stuff. But now we're finally getting back to it. Um, what we've done so far today, uh, you can see this fresh wood over here. This corner was actually high because we had put full thickness of glass on the deck right there, just in that quadrant and over there as well as the rest of it. It was just a single layer of matting. So had to plane that down to bring it down to a matching level to the rest of it. So now that's done. Just gotta come back in and round off the corners. And uh, previously we filled these screw holes all around the inside of the combing there as well as the outside. And um, I think a few of them are a little bit high, gonna go through and knock them down with a grinder real quick. And then, uh, then we'll just have a nice flat layout. Take the sander through here, knock off any uh, wood that's sticking up and any putty. And then we can start uh, getting our glass cut. We're actually gonna use all our offcuts that we've been uh, trimming for our panels over here. There's been like a nine inch piece that we've cut off each one of them. So that'll make a good use of them. Just kind of wrap them like this in layers. We'll get to that in a while. But uh, the measuring and the cutting is a very time consuming process. I did a little bit of glassing down in the hold, um, way down there. You can barely see it, but uh, the cutting part of that, cutting and fitting took probably a couple hours and the glassing itself took an hour and a half. So uh, time consuming, but makes it easy to lay down once you're rolling. So that's cool. So uh, got the sander out here. Gonna go ahead and uh, give this thing a buzz, round off the corners. Probably pull out the router to give it a quarter round or a, yeah, I think about a quarter round is what we use. So we'll do that next.
Alright, so we'll do a once over of the rest of this. Make sure there are no uh, wood chunks sticking up and that the putty is all flattened out nice. And then uh, I think we'll do a quick vacuum up. Uh, keep all this sawdust out of our fabric. Because that gets annoying when you have sawdust in your fabric. So uh, yeah, we'll bring you guys back once we start measuring some pieces, I guess. All right, so we got this all prepped out, sanded and vacuumed up and everything. Got the edge there planed down to be somewhat consistent all around. It'll never be uh, perfect, which is building off what we did. So uh, for now it's good. So we're gonna start laying up our, uh, our laminates on this combing to see how it turns out. Got our pieces uh, pre-cut over here. Just going with the standard lamination that we've been doing. That's a uh, CSM 090, 4545, 090, and two CSMs. That results in about a quarter inch of thickness. We may or may not lay up a little bit more here just to give it some extra thickness because this will be like a high traffic and likely high impact area just as far as uh, offloading and stuff goes it's uh, pretty hard to be in control of the crane when you're not in control of the crane so uh, we'll probably beef it up a little bit more so what we're planning to do here is we're just gonna wrap it like that uh, we'll butt a first layer up all the way to the edge right here and just taper it back like that with each layer and that'll give it a nice gradual finish there and then when we come over the inside we'll start at that out one outside one or inside one rather and wrap it like that and that'll give it a nice smooth finish on top uh, we may or may not add some extra beefiness to the top and corners just because they'll be high impact areas so always good to give yourself a little extra there but anyway we'll get rolling here and see how it goes all right here we go got hot cooking oh is that my kool-aid yeah probably will taste very really good though yeah, that's probably true. Start by saturating our wood. CSM like that, it will go all the way across, and then our next layers will start here and just come down over it down to the corner. That would be
How come you ripped it instead of cut it? Tapers out the edge a lot better. Inside, we just knock the edge, inside edge down real quick with the grinder or whatever. short on the corner. That's because I plan on just putting a single piece of fabric or the full layer, the full layup right there. That way the corner doesn't have the end joints right there. It wraps around it. I'll transfer all the all the strength pretty well into the glass beside it. And also on my other pieces here I taper it back like this. Start out here tapering it back in like that on the pieces that are going on here. It's good to get as much overlap on your layers as you can that just transfers all the strength between layers.
you like that flashy for? I like that. that corner a little more because the last two pieces of CSM are the final layer that's going down over it. So I want that, that corner to be extra strong.
Hey guys, back on the job here. Uh, as you can see, we got our other two outer combings glassed up, the front and the back. And also came through and hit it with a grinder, took off all the edges. So the goal for this morning is to get these corners laminated. Took off the inside edge. Um, we test fit the hatch uh, afterwards and it still fits, which is a good thing. It means the outside here didn't become too large to, to accommodate it. So in the event it did, we could actually just, well, taking into account the foam gasket that will be there, it would actually lift this up, which would make the tight fit there lift up a hair. So I guess we'd be kind of all right in that case. The big issue or the bigger concern would be the inside that you don't lay it up too thick. Otherwise, um, it will be too small. There's no way you can like fit it or make it bigger by lifting it because it's just a straight shot right here. I think what we're aiming for is just the same thickness here. When we uh, glass that thing together, we took into account that we'll probably be doing a similar layup as all our panels. So about a quarter inch thereabouts of layup so yeah that's the goal for today is or uh, that's the goal for this morning is to get those corners laid up and then later I think we'll do another panel uh, use up these rolls of cloth that have been sitting around for a while now all right so we got the corners all finished up here turned out pretty good did these two this morning and then the back two, or the forward two, this afternoon. It went pretty smoothly. A uh, couple bubbles on those ones, but nothing too heavy. So, I'm gonna get a panel laid up and uh, call her good. Mm -hmm. 